Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, as we are making ourselves ready to receive the word of God, we ask the Holy Spirit and we ask the Lord to be with us. We need more power, we need more strength from above. Unless and until the Holy Spirit opens our heart, we will never be able to grasp the real meaning of the word of God and we will not be able to understand the will of God. So today, let's praise and worship the Lord and we'll thank the Lord for the wonderful deeds He has been doing to us all, three, all these years. Let us praise and worship the Lord together with the choir. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Anointing, mighty anointing, falling to me. Amen. Fire anointing, mighty anointing, falling to me. Fire anointing, mighty anointing, falling to me. Fire anointing, mighty anointing, falling to me. Anointing on your apostles. Holy Spirit, baptize me with your holy fire, your holy fire. Burn in my heart, burn in my life, let me be a fire. Burn in my heart, burn in my life, let your fire hearts of many people opening their hearts to receive the heart, the word of God thank you Holy Spirit today we dedicate our little children the youth and adult in our family bless them Lord give them true knowledge and wisdom that the Holy Spirit gives to them we pray for all the parents they have been given a great responsibility by the Lord to impart their faith to their children. Lord, help them. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Psalm 127, verse 3 reads this way Sons are indeed a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb, a reward. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Word of God says, the children that comes to our family, it is a gift from God and it is a reward to the people who fear the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We know in our day-to-day -day life, if we give a reward or a gift to a person, give, we give the most beautiful gifts. Dear brothers and sisters, God cannot give a bad gift to anybody because he is the fullness of goodness. So he cannot give a bad gift to anyone. Therefore, the gifts given by God is definitely are good. A few months back, a lady came to me and told me, Father, please pray for me. I asked her, what is the reason? What shall I, what shall I pray for? She said, Father, I have three children. The eldest daughter is just finished her university studies. And a few days back, she came to me and told me, Mom, I would like to, I like a person. So, Mom asked her, who is that guy? She said, a guy, a non-Christian. Then mother said, Mom, uh, Mom said, no daughter, you cannot. You shall not marry or you shall not like a person who is of that uh, uh, other caste or other religion. We are Christians. We have to go through the Christian practices and you can, you can love only a person, a person who is of Catholic faith. Then she said, no, 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 I don't mind that. Because all religions are equal and he doesn't even practice his religion. I am also not, not much interested. That is not important. I like this person very much. Because he's handsome, he's very good, he cares for me a lot, he has got a beautiful job, so I would like to be with him. Then, finally, mom said, okay, fine. If this is your decision, do one thing. We will talk and uh, speak with their parents. Let us see what is their response. And we will arrange for the marriage. Then the girl is telling, no, what marriage? I said, you said it, you like her. That is true, but I don't want to get married. Then what are you going to do? She said, we are just going to stay together for some years. That's all. The mother said, father, I, it was a shock for me. The, the girl is telling me, the daughter is telling me, that I don't want to get married, but I want to just stay with a guy for some years. Father, please pray for me. The lady is in tears. Dear brothers and sisters, when I hear all these things, I went to the Lord and asked, Lord, why? Why this has happened? You said you have given a child. The children are the blessings and gifts from you. And if the children are gifts from you, why these children go astray? Why they become a pain, uh, they give pain to their parents? Why the parents are today weeping because of their children? And that was my question to the Lord. Dear friends, God answered me in this way. He said, I have entrusted these children to, my, to their parents because I had some certain plans about them. But today, what has happened is that the parents do not understand the plans of God for their children. Instead, they make their own plans for their children. The book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 15. Would you read that? Malachi, chapter 2, verse 15. And what does the one God desire? Godly offspring. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God says, I have made the parents to come together and I have given children. And why I should have, I gave the children? I want the children a God-fearing offspring. I want them to, the children, parents to give them or impart to them the faith they should become God-fearing children. And today, parents really neglect or forget about the greatest role or the duty that God gives to them together with their children. My dear parents, today in a very special way, I would like to tell you one thing. When God has given you the gift as children, God has given you a duty too, a responsibility too. That is, to train your children in the right way. To give to them the faith which you have. Or to teach them the real knowledge of God and uh, spiritual matters. 
Hallelujah. 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 Dear friends, and today, why the parents have to weep about their children? Because they have not given the right teaching. They have not given the faith in the due time. Dear friends, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 6 onwards, let us listen to that. Keep these words that I am commanding you today in your heart. Recite them to your children and talk about them when you are at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. Bind them as a sign on your hand. Fix them as an emblem on your forehead and write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What does it mean? The word of God says, the, uh, God is telling to the people of Israel, telling them to the parents especially, so you do have to do one thing. When you, uh, if you want to live a, a good life, a prosperous life, what you have to do is, you should ponder and meditate upon the word of God. Just, that's not enough. You have to teach your children and it has to be written down in every places and you have to always meditate upon this word of God and you who teach the children in this way that is a commandment because that is very very important in our lives in the same book Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 46 and 47 he said to them take to heart all the words that I am giving in witness against you today Give them as a command to your children. See, the word of God, Moses is giving to the uh, commandment that you should teach the word of God. In other words, you should teach the God-fearing uh, nature to the people, to the children I have given to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If they are unable to give the children the right teaching of the Lord from the very young age onwards, my dear brothers and sisters, you will not have a generation which is perverted and which is always going against your will. Hallelujah. 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 Today, my dear parents, when you complain that your children are not going, doing well, they are not interested in spiritual matters, I would ask you to have an introspection of yourselves. Just think, how much do you pray? It is very easy to give advice to many people. Today, parents are very much interested in giving in advices. But your children does not need any advice. They need models. Or have you become a model for your children? Can you tell your children, look at me and learn from me. You live like me, then you will reach heaven. How many of the parents are able to say in this way? Only such parents will be and their children will be blessed. No doubt about it. Hallelujah. 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 Today, my dear parents, we are mostly interested to tell children, stay you study, study, get good job, good money. No, this is not the first priority. In the book of Tabith, chapter 4, verse 21 and 22, dear friends, the uh, Tabith gives a beautiful instruction or a, a law to his uh, son, Tobias. Let's read about that. Do not be afraid, my son, because we have become poor. See, the father is telling to his child, my dear child, do not become afraid because we are poor. You have great wealth if you fear God and See. flee from every sin and do what is good in the sight of the Lord your God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The father is telling to his son, my dear child, do not worry. You are very poor. Don't worry. But I tell you, you will have great wealth in heaven and you will have great anointing and wealth if you flee from sin and do what is commanded by the Lord. And how many parents are able to tell this to their children? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 10, verse 22 says, The blessing of the Lord makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The blessings of the Lord makes a child, a family uh, great and wealthy. Not these, the worldly things. 
That's why the word of God says in the book of Sirah, chapter 27, verse 3. Let's listen to that. If a person is not steadfast in the fear of the Lord, his house will be quickly overthrown. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A person who is not steadfast in God-fearing, his house and his generation will be quickly uh, scattered and shattered. Definitely. This is what we see in the Bible. In the first letter to Timothy, chapter 4, verse 7 and 8, we see with the, uh, the training that we give to you, physical training, it is somewhat good. But the spiritual training is the best one. Have nothing to do with profane myths and old wise tales. Train yourself in godliness. For while physical training is of some value, godliness is valuable in every way, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. The, the teaching and the imparting faith and god fear nature in them is worth, it is good for the whole life. Maybe by physical training, it is somewhat good, but it is not the real thing. Hallelujah. 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 Dear friends, therefore, today, what the word of God says is to the parents is that you should cleanse yourself. You should cleanse yourself. Book of Job, we see in chapter 1st, chapter of Job, chapter verse 5. And when the feast days had run their course, Job would send and sanctify them. And he would rise early in the morning and offer burnt offerings according to to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my children have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Praise this is what Job always did. See, what Job always did. And he was just worrying about the children. The, 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 he knows that the children are going out a world where is a lot of sin. And sometimes my children must have committed any some sins. Therefore, every day, early morning, getting up and doing sacrifice to the Lord and asking them to sanctify themselves. See, how many parents are able to do sacrifices and do th uh, penance for your children? How many par parents are there to take care of their children, spiritual activities of the children? Today, parents are not bothered about that. My dear friends, Jesus said in the Gospel of St. John, verse 17, verse 19. 17, 19, God, uh, Jesus said, I sanctify myself for the sake of them. I sanctify myself for the sake of them. Jesus sanctified himself for the sake of the, uh, his apostles. In the very same manner, my dear brothers and sisters, those who listen to me, especially parents, I I exhort you that you should sanctify yourself for your, because of your, for your children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And plus, my dear uh, parents, you have to show a model to, to imitate them. Today, the young generation, they need good models. They don't need advices. So, be a model to them. You show them that I am a practicing Catholic. And be proud to be a Catholic. And thus, the children also will be proud to say we are Catholics or we are Christians. So dear for brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, as we listen to this word of God, let us make a, 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 a change in our lives, a change in our attitudes. Wealth is not the important thing. Job is not an important thing. Health is not important. Everything is a gift from God. First, you should train yourself and your children in the God fear, in, in, in godliness. Hallelujah. 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 Let's stand up. Please close your eyes. Parents, just surrender yourself and your children to the Lord. Accept that, oh Lord, you have given me gifts through my children. They are really good. They are really good. But if I have neglected my duty to impart the real knowledge of Christ to them, if I have given any bad example through my life, I really ask you pardon, Lord. I have to sanctify myself for the sake of my children. When they are given to me, they are so good. 
I always take pressure in telling good about them. But today I know I am worried about my children. I am worried because they are not going practicing faith. I am worried they are going to more and more sins. But I sanctify myself. Just like Job early morning wrote, got up early morning and offered burnt sacrifice for every member of his family. Lord, I should make penance, abstinences in my life for the sake of my children. Dear parents, just remember there was a mother who was praying for 36 years for an young boy, Monica. And that was the reason why Augustine was changed into Saint Augustine. Your children can be changed through your prayers, through your love of God. Let us thank the Lord and praise. Hallelujah. Sanctify Pray for all the children. Me, oh God, Bring them back to the Lord. This is my body, mind and soul. Jesus. Purify me and make me whole. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. O oh Lord, help the parents to be a true model for their children. O oh Lord, as they are praying at this moment, let them be sanctified for the sake of the children. Lord, send forth your spirit and they shall be created once again. Our Lord, today we pray that let all the families be, the, be filled with your presence. Let us raise the hands for the blessings. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. praise hallelujah. you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord Jesus. We adore you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.